Recording is rolling. It's Friday, May 6th. So, to the top scientists, this goes uh, back a few weeks here. This is for units four and five. That's energy and momentum. Ah, oh, look at all of the top scientists. Where'd you guys go? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a big old list right here. And then we fit on the screen. Wow. Wow. So many. Okay. And then uh, the one you guys just turned in a couple days back. Uh, unit six and seven, that's harmonic, simple harmonic motion and rotational dynamics. Oh, look at you guys go again. All right. So now this particular quiz, uh, yeah, an awesome job, man, if you were on there. So way to go, guys. Uh, that quiz, um, I've got them graded. Uh, I've got the answer solutions all written up, ready to post. All I have to do is click a button. I'm just waiting for the last few to trickle in today, just because I, I know it's been a weird week. It's you guys had testing and not been in class, right? So I will put those in your folders over the weekend. You guys can click them up on Monday, uh, and the solutions will also be posted um, again, probably on Monday. Okay. All right. So uh, let's do some review stuff. Uh, one thing, um, you guys remember in the very beginning of the school year, there were a few pages that were, here, let me uh, grab one of these packets for, for the camera. Uh, there, there have been these three pages that have been stapled and around the room um, and also posted to classroom since, I, I think like day one of this class. There's AP equations, you guys see all these AP equations? Uh, there's, uh, oh, and that's uh, it's actually a double, double side page. Right? So I'll, I'll at least do. Okay. Uh, there's one page that has uh, all the variables and units that we've done in this class, right? Variables and units, and they go section by section. So there's kinematic motion, here's dynamics, forces, energy, right? Uh, got momentum, got rotational dynamics, uh, gravitation, right? even some stuff that got cut, like um, uh, like waves and uh, electricity. Okay. Okay. And then there's also uh, this page. Right, which has, has a uh, breakdown uh, topic by topic uh, here, like linear motion, projectile motion, right, dynamics, forces, Newton's laws, here's energy, momentum, uh, rotation, uh, and then here I got gravitation, right, and then some things that are not going to be on your guys' exam that used to be a few years back. Then, oh, last couple rows here, trigonometry and uh, common prefixes, um, right? Um, yeah, so like uh, like megas and billion, right? All right, now I, I used to teach this class organized a little bit differently and uh, I made different versions of this, but the blueprint originally goes back a few years ago. So, um, yeah, but, uh, but this does tell you here, for, for example, uh, oops, let me go back to the other side of this. Okay. Uh, let's say, for example, if you're interested in, uh, like, if you're reading all these questions and you're trying to figure out, like, what framework do I need to solve this or that problem? It might be multiple choice. It might be free response. Uh, what, what would be a tip off as to what top of you? So conservation of energy, for example, if objects are changing height, changing speed, uh, if there's a spring involved, there's a good question. It might be conservation of energy. Not, not necessarily, but it could be. Uh, it, it, this always being pushed around, pushed or pulled, right? Force times distance, that's work, energy transfer. Okay. Here's, a, here's a column for uh, uh, equations you guys want. So like linear, mo kinematic motion, you guys remember those three classic kinematic motion? Right? Then by the time you get to conservation of energy, so I'll use that as an example, you got uh, energies conserved in a closed system. Uh, there's potential, uh, oh, work is force times distance. Here's potential energy localized, MGH. There's also a universal potential energy. There might be an out application of that somewhere, negative GMM on R. Uh, kinetic energy, one half MV squared. Uh, kinetic energy, or sorry, uh, potential energy stored in the spring, one half KX squared. Okay. Uh, you know what I don't actually have listed here, now I'm looking at it, is uh, rotational kinetic energy, one half I omega squared. Um, did it? Didn't I put that? Hmm. Well, oops. Okay. But you guys know that too. Okay. Uh, I gave you guys, uh, I got a whole of column just for classic example. Um, there's one here that involves three different types of energy, right? Spring energy uh, turns it, uh, this block which gives the spring, goes around this loop. Right? But point A, point B, uh, spring potential here, then it's lifted against gravity here, so potential energy. And then it better have some speed to get around that loop, so that's uh, some kinetic energy, one F and B squared, if it's a closed system, that all equates. Right? Uh, and then the classic graph, this last column is full of graphs, right? So. Uh, for energy or work, you would totally expect to see a force versus displacement graph, wouldn't you? Right? 
so there you go. There's a there's one row example, and it, it, every single row corresponds to like some different uh, topic. Right? You guys got to know, uh, be familiar with all those, right? Okay, uh, you guys good so far? Now, this uh, actually these pages in this packet, including this one and the AP equations, uh, I go over all these in a convenient video that's uh, I think it's like 20, 30 minutes long. Let me switch over my screen and show you guys where to find it. So present screen to share. All right. So I posted this to Google Classroom this morning. I was I was thinking that I had posted this uh, at the beginning of the year, but now I'm not 100% sure because I, I was digging around for it. I couldn't quite find it. But it's up here now for sure because I posted it this morning. You guys see here under May 2022, uh, physics, AP Physics 1 review video recut. You guys see this? Right. So open this up. Ooh, let's check this out. I'll go ahead and open it up right now so we can all get a quick glance at what it's going to look like. Uh, I've got this. Oh, okay. Sorry. Still processing because I, um, you know what? I, I, should, I should have it on my desktop though because I uploaded it from my computer. So let me pull up from a desktop. So, so All right now, my computer is muted right now. So in the background, I am narrating this. But oh, look at this. So uh, here's linear motion stuff. I go over all those. Here's dynamics, forces, different kinds of forces. Here's energy, energy conservation. Um, oh, whoops. There's a momentum impulse. I skip past there. Here's a uh, rotation. Uh, here's your AP equations, uh, and then as I'm outlining each box, I'm narrating in the background what, you know, what's what and how to navigate it. Okay. Uh, some formulas, what have we got marked up there? Oh, those look like um, dynamics formulas, I think. Right. Yeah, some do with forces. Right. Here's your, um, it looks like things re related to rotation. Now, Again, back when I made this, we used to organize this class a little bit different. So we got unit three stuff here and unit seven stuff down here. That's okay. Right. Right. Yeah. And so narrating the background, you know, what's what? Yeah, different part. All right. Oh, hey, look, this page right here. Now, um, it, I've created updated versions of this. So the ones that the, the version of this that you guys have seen that you know I've been posting all along, it's on your desk, is an updated version from this one. So this one's a little bit outdated, but. Um, I mean, not not very much. It, it's almost exactly the same thing. So go through topic by topic. It's all right here. Just scroll on through. You guys can see. Yay. Okay. And then, um, well, you guys won't get anything on electricity. So so there you go. All right. All right. You guys got any questions on that? All right. That video just uploaded to uh, Classroom. So if I hadn't uploaded it before, then it's definitely there now. All right. You guys know how to get that? Right, real nice, concise review video right there. Let's we'll switch the screen back. Stop share. All right. Uh, now, what's some uh, what's some other review activities you guys could do? Because you guys got one more weekend before this exam. So, well, I came up with a with a short list of possible. I mean, this obviously isn't exhaustive, but uh, you guys know there are tons of opportunities on AP Classroom. I opened up lots and lots of things of, uh, a couple of months back. There's lots of FRQs. There's lots of multiple choice. There's entire practice exams that you guys can take, right? So it's all there. Uh, so many guys have been taking advantage of those. Uh, there's entire AP classroom videos uh, th that have been there throughout the year. I, I know they just did those live reviews. Does anybody know if they permanently posted the live reviews? They yeah, they do. Okay, yeah, I was thinking it was probably the case. Um, so it, it, those are probably on their YouTube channel too. Uh, yeah, on YouTube. All right, there you go. So ton of stuff there. Uh, one. Um, Pretty good resource I like a lot. There's this guy that uh, has a channel and a website. It's called Flipping Physics. Uh, now I know I've played this sometimes uh, in like spare intervals. I forget if it's this class or my other AP class or both. Uh, I don't know. Does this look familiar there, Flipping Physics? Right. Right. Tell you what, uh, right, jot this down in your agenda because um, th this guy gives these uh, really nice, concise uh, 10 minute summaries. Uh, if, if you just Google Flipping Physics, it should be like one, one of the top links, right? Really nice, concise 10 minute reviews for each section, right? So you want to look at kinetic motion, you know, that's probably like 10 or 12 minute video, right? And you know, section by section, pretty thorough, covers everything, units, equations, examples, right? All nice. And, uh, you guys have, you know about Khan Academy, right? That's there too. Um, uh, all, all these, got everything on Google Classroom. I mean, every single day in this class, I made a video and posted it. So you guys got all those videos, just everything we've done in class, right? Uh, lots of notes and, Poster, uh, all, all these posters around the uh, around the ceiling here. Uh, I, I may have missed a couple, but I, I think uh, 
but most of them, possibly all of them, uh, even are uh, uh, up there section by section, right? So Google Classroom, right? So it's all laid out for you. Okay, so you guys got lots of opportunities there. Uh, does anybody uh, have any recommendations for a review that's not on my list? Because there's lots of other things you probably do too, right? Do you have other recommendations? Okay. Uh, I think there's a, if you go to the bookstore, like Barnes and Noble, uh, you can probably find even a review books like per section. So yeah, that's the thing. So yeah, you guys got lots of review opportunities. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? All right. So, you know what, I think the uh, best way to finish out today is, you guys remember yesterday, I gave you guys a grid page that looks like this, right? One through 50, one through 50, right? One through 50, one through, right? Right. And then uh, we we're going through that packet. So yeah, let's just pick up where we left off yesterday, right? And just keep going with these. Just do one at a time. Right now, it's been kind of a weird week. Um, who does not have one of these great pages? Does not have one of these? Oh, all right. All right. Yeah, so go ahead and pull that out. All right. And pick up where we left off yesterday. 